based out of Germany, out of uh, Ansbach, Germany right now, okay. Club Combat Aviation Brigade. Okay. Uh, currently, we're in 2159, uh, Tech Reconnaissance Battalion. I've been flying for about five years now. I was a crew chief for six before that on this helicopter. Basically, it's a flying tank. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's the easiest way to describe it. Okay. The primary weapon is the Hellfire. Right now in this configuration, we can carry eight. We can change that up. Uh, Afghanistan is a little bit different. We're concerned about weight over there, so it be less than the amount we carry. Okay. Uh, the secondary weapon that we use most of the time, especially Afghanistan and Iraq, is 30 millimeter. Okay. Uh, Either crew station can fire that weapon. We can use it off of our helmet. Uh, the monocle that we use, there's a reticle in it. Wherever I put that reticle, I can shoot what I'm looking at. Or the front seater can use it off of the TADS, the bucket up front that has two sensors. The last weapon system we got is the rockets, 2.75 inch rockets. Uh, we can carry different configurations of those as well. Uh, same thing as the, the Hellfire, it just depends on what situation we're going into. We just got back from Afghanistan in December, so we were still focused on that, uh, primarily. Um, I mean, we're going back to, there was a big shift in tactics for, for what this was designed for, to what we did in Afghanistan and Iraq. This was designed specifically for, like, deep attack, go behind enemy lines, destroy positions, and then come back out. Iraq, Afghanistan, they found out it worked very good for close air support. So we changed over to more of a close air support role. So it's kind of been a learning curve. For 10 years now, we've been doing close air support, and now we're coming back into that, that deep attack, getting extremely low, uh, hiding behind terrain, that type of stuff. The style of fight that we were doing in Afghanistan, it, it didn't require us to make huge, huge maneuvers that required a lot of power. So it performed very well for the mission that we asked it to do. The E model is modernized. That's the best way to put it. Uh, the computer boxes that we have now are still based off 80s technology. So they're getting a little old in age. The E model updated most of those boxes completely. The drive line on the E model is also updated. The engines that we have right now can actually tear apart our drive system if, if we had them at full, full power. Uh, so they've upgraded the E model's drive system because the engines over the years have just gotten better and better and better to the point where they were exceeding our capabilities. Uh, the blades have changed on the E model, made them lighter, uh, a little bit more responsive. And like I said, mostly it's, it's a computer upgrade to the to the E model.